Should have practiced talking before I tried to uh, intro there. Good morning friends, first vlog of 2024 and yes, it's February. I like to have a really slow Jan, I like a soft launch and also I have been unwell, which I'm not gonna say any more about, but yeah. Anyway, here we are and I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a lovely start to 2024. I had set aside today to do some vlogging, probably do a little bit tomorrow as well. I've got some purchases to show you. I was actually gonna wake up this morning and do a try on haul. By the time we had gone to nursery, it was still so gray so rainy it's just one of those days and i've got a nail appointment at 10 so i thought you know what i'll just do the try on afterwards and hopefully it'll be a bit brighter but if it isn't <clears throat> i've dug out my trusty old ring light which i haven't used in ages because i'm lazy too lazy to get it out so i need to get one of those little ones really this is huge cumbersome but yeah i've dug that out so i should hopefully still be able to do the try on haul I haven't done a try on haul in about a million years so i don't even know why i'm like thinking this is gonna go smoothly, but we'll see. So yeah, I hope you've all had a lovely start to the year. I am just drinking a peppermint tea, waiting for a little call back from the doctor, classic, and um, just chilling before my nail appointment, which is in half an hour, so I do actually need to get dressed. So what's been going on with us? There's been a lot of work behind the scenes, getting ready for the announcement of the big project that I've been working on. I'm very excited to get that announced, hopefully in Feb. Rue is doing great, she's really, Toing at the moment like I don't like to say terrible twos because they're all so great there is so much that's great about them she is you know chatting away asking questions about things like you can really see her personality shining through but at the same time it is difficult I'm not gonna lie it does feel like everything is a battle but also it's so counterproductively like we'll be going to an activity she likes and she's still will take like half an hour to get her coat and shoes on. And sometimes it's just really hard to navigate, you know, when you haven't had much sleep or whatever. I just sit there sometimes with her coat on my lap. I'm kneeling on the floor waiting for her to come to me and I'm just like, <sighs> defeated. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, twos are twosing. If anyone out there has a two year old and you're feeling my pain, I am totally with you. It's hard living with a tiny dictator. But yeah, apart from that, just been chilling, trying to survive to be honest, because like I said, I've not been feeling great, but it's all good, it's fine. Oh, let me show you some skincare faves while I've got five minutes. I'm back on the vitamin C hype at the moment, and I'm using the Medicaid C Tetra. I don't know why I still keep things in the box. Certain products, I just love to keep in the box. But yeah, it's the Medicaid C Tetra Radiant Serum. Just put on six drops in the morning after cleansing, and I really like it. Well, I'm out of breath. <laughs> it has that slight orangey fragrance, really lovely texture, is not greasy. It, I mean, all vitamin C's I think feel a little bit greasy when you put them on, but it really soaks into the skin quickly. And I find that moisturizer, makeup, etc., everything goes on really nicely on top. I have been really enjoying that. Let me just put it back in this box. I've also really been enjoying the Nivea Micellar Water. Now I usually use the Garnier, like the big bottle, just cause it's a massive bottle. That's the one I always have gravitated towards and just buy it and I buy it on repeat. And I've never really branched out, but my mum gave me this for Christmas in my stocking. Sorry, Santa gave me this for Christmas in my stocking. And I don't know what else is in this, but I just really like it. It feels a lot more moisturizing for the skin, like especially in the winter months when your skin's a bit dry and dull or whatever. After I've used this, I don't know if it's got soothing formula with amino acid complex and dexpanthenol. I don't know if that's the same as the Garnier one, I'm not sure, but I will probably be repurchasing this, especially in the winter months. Just feel like it gives my skin a little bit more do you know what I mean? But I don't know what's different about it, so that's where my knowledge ends. All I know is it's nice, okay? I've also really been enjoying this lip sleeping mask from Laneige, Laneige, Beige, Laneige. Yeah, okay, it might be Laneige, I don't know, but I'm gonna rhyme it with beige because it's spelled like beige. Anyway, you can get these on Look Fantastic. This is the berry flavor. Just feels really nice on the lips. It's a really nice thing to put on before bed. I always put a lip balm on before I go to sleep anyway, but a lip mask just feels like a little bit more indulgent. And I do find that these are really nice for like, you wake up and your lips do feel like they've had a little something, something. Do you know what I mean? Makeup wise, I don't know why this looks all disgusting. I've really enjoyed trying the MAC Strobe Dewy Skin Tint. Kind of goes on somewhere between a moisturizer and a serum-y texture, I would say. Um, I got it in the shade medium one, which I should have gone a little bit darker, I think. It's fine, I'm wearing it today. It doesn't wash me out completely but I do have to warm my face up with bronzer, otherwise I look like I'm on my way to the morgue. I will know for next time. And, oh, it's leaking at the top. What the hell? Okay, that's annoying. That gives me a chance to show you the texture of it anyway. It's like that. And then last but not least, I have finally tried 
the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. This has been a like bestseller for a while, I think, so this is not gonna be new to any makeup lovers out there. But if you are wondering how it compares with something like the Refi Beauty, which is what I previously was using, I like both. I do like the tools that come with the Refi Beauty. This is a similar concept. It's gonna give you that kind of laminated brow effect. I don't know if you can see that. I know a lot of people don't get on with the Refi, so if you don't, then perhaps you'd wanna try this because they are very different products. Like that's more waxy and this is more like a sticky gel. It's not sticky once it's set, obviously, just when it goes on, but it really brushes brushes and catches the hairs really nicely and you can shape them the only thing i would say with this is it's easier to be heavy-handed so you only need a tiny bit on the spoolie yeah really enjoying that now i'm going to get dressed i'm going to go to my nail appointment then i think i'm going to come back and do the try on haul because i really want to get that done mainly so i can unpack all these clothes and wear them that is the plan i'm going to drink my cold tea the rain outside is really raining <sighs> typically i've just had a call back from the doctors managed to get an appointment for just after my nail appointment so i should be going to the nails to the nails to nails, then doctors, and then I'll be able to do the try on haul. <laughs> watch this day run away from me and watch me not be able to do this haul. I'll be so sad because I've done my hair and my makeup and that is a very rare occurrence at the moment. I've done it so I can get some nice vlog clips so that when I'm editing, I'm not looking at it like, why did I vlog looking like a swamp creature? Which is usually what happens to me. I know it's not all about looks, but we all like to feel nice about ourselves, don't we? Anyway, these are the ones that I'm changing. They are super long. These are all my own nails. Biab, amazing. She's so good at Biab, honestly, this lady that I go to now. Then my Biab infilled. I'm gonna get about half the length off because these are just too long for, for mum life. Perfect for nice one, Sylvia. I would definitely listen, right. New nails did, hospital done. Hospital, doctors. Annoyingly didn't really get any conclusions at the doctors. And I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks drive through before I go home because I'm starving. <laughs> I feel like eating something delicious little pastry you know hello could I get a iced yeah. vanilla latte and can I get two blueberry muffins as well please so one bacon roll uh, uh, bacon roll with uh, you want any ketchup brown sauce ketchup please uh, we haven't got ketchup but we have brown sauce oh don't worry about it that's fine <laughs> just leave it <laughs> Sorry, so that's okay. Blueberry muffin. Is that everything for you? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Can you pay me the next window. Thank you. Thanks. I don't actually know what possessed me to get an iced oat vanilla latte. I also haven't drank a vanilla latte in about 200 years. I think I just panic bought. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. There's a man in the car next to me, and I was waiting for him to drive away, but he's not. So he can just enjoy watching me chat to myself. Let's try this drink then. I don't know why I bought it. I saw someone post about a Mr. Matcha with a vanilla shot. And that's kind of what I wanted. But then when I got to the board, I couldn't see it on the board. I didn't know what to order. And I just panicked. It's not disastrous. I'm just really off coffee at the moment, so why I ordered an iced latte, I don't know. Sorry, this keeps focusing on my dusty car. They've given me this bacon roll, and they didn't have any ketchup, so that's great. She was like, do you want ketchup or brown sauce? Ketchup, please. We don't have ketchup. Okay. Um, so I might go home and put some ketchup on it, actually. Okay, that's quite nice, actually. Then I just got a blueberry muffin. One for me and one for Alex. Again, I wanted a pastry, and then I felt too on the spot in the drive-thru because they didn't have the pastries on the board. And what we've learned from this is I should not order at drive throughs unless I know the exact names of what I'm ordering. Like, obviously, McDonald's drive through not a problem. Ordered my McDonald's about 20 million times in my life. I could do that with my eyes closed, babe. Starbucks, don't know it well enough. Ooh, okay, let's do this thing. Okay, first things first. So, as I mentioned, this is all from ASOS. Don't know if I did mention that. It's all from ASOS. I've got a H&M haul of little girls' bits that I'll just quickly go through after. But everything for myself is from ASOS, and I will link everything in the description box. I'm going to do these first, and then wear them for the rest of the uh, try-on. So, I got some little earrings. I just needed a new little injection of earring choice, to be honest. Okay, so that is them on. Just a nice little gold accent. I love gold, I never buy silver. And I shouldn't really buy earrings from ASOS because I have very reactive ears. So I shall only be able to wear these for a few hours at a time anyway. But I like those, subtle. I have very sticky in ears. Like, look at that. Do I even have ears from the front? Who knows? They are there, they're just very pinned back. So I find that with really chunky earrings, they'll stick out at weird angles because it's like touching my neck. 
So I have to go for something small-ish, but it's still nice to have the volume there. So I like those. Okay, I'm not sure about this. It's giving shapeless on me. I think because I've got quite broad shoulders, I sometimes struggle with, how do I move this? Oh God, I've got my new tripod, so I'm just trying to work everything out. I sometimes struggle with my, do you know what I mean? It's quite, it's giving mattress because the length ends there. I don't know, what do you think? Or is it because I'm wearing it with jeans that it looks silly? Okay, let's take the jeans off and see. Let's try it with chunky boots. Okay, I actually quite like it as a dress. I would probably have to wear no tights, which is an issue for me because I like to be warm. So will I get the wear out of it is the question. This is gonna go in the not sure pile. Since I've been buying clothes with my new, like trying to find my style again head on, I have been asking myself three questions before I buy something. One is, is it similar to anything I like in my wardrobe? So like I have shapes and styles that I like and I'm basically just trying to replicate those in different textures different colours, etc. because you don't need to deviate too much from what you know. Obviously not exactly the same, you don't want two items the same, but if it's similar and I can see where it would slot in, then that's a, a good sign. The second question is, can I picture myself wearing this with five different outfits? Obviously with a jumper dress, I think that's a little bit of a tough one to apply because realistically I'm gonna be wearing this with a variation of shoe and a variation of jacket. It's not really an issue. But if it were just a jumper, for example, I'd be thinking, okay, can I at least pair it with three two or three pairs of trousers or could I wear it with a maxi skirt or whatever because what I really don't want to do is be buying things that I wear like once or twice a year but don't reach for very often even though they're lovely so yeah I don't know and then the third thing I've been thinking about is quality so I am trying to do a mixture of fast fashion because financially like that just unfortunately is what makes sense for me right now mixed in with some slightly more expensive pieces that are genuinely of a higher quality so not just expensive for the sake of it which i think is what a lot of high street shops will try to offer premium high street shops even which is why it's great to follow people like andrea Chiong. i hope i haven't butchered that on instagram i'll put her handle here she goes into real detail about the quality of how garments are made and i find it really helpful she's also got a book out which i need to buy if i don't love it love it i don't know but also this color as well is it when I'm going to reach for a lot, when I've got a grubby child clinging to me. This t-shirt is a definite yes, because it's the kind of thing I reach for all the time. So it's a, like an ecru colour, oversized, pocket, really nice, drop shoulder, slouchy fit. I love everything about this, because these can really be dressed up and down so easily. They're really versatile. It's like that really lovely ecru, oatmeal-y, mal vibe. It's a really nice thickness as well, do you know what I mean? 100% a fan of that. And then the other thing I've tried on is this maxi skirt. This is a knitted maxi skirt. Little uh, side slit for you there. I own things this shape, so that's a green flag for me because I know that I like to wear things this shape. But I don't own anything this colour, this texture. It's got that like nice ribbed knit effect. The only issue obviously when you buy anything knitted is the bobbling. How much is it gonna bobble? I've got a debobbler and I'm actually gonna debobble some clothes later that have got a bit fusty. So that's not a massive issue, but obviously when you're shaving them a lot, like eventually you are just gonna shave through the fabric. And I guess like, you know, your bottom is quite a high traffic area. Oi oi, sitting, standing, jiggling around. So we'll see. Oh, and just for reference, I'll probably put this information in the description anyway with the links. The cream jumper dress I got in a medium, the knitted skirt, medium again, and then this is actually a small. So definitely don't size up in this because the next thing I'm trying is a denim maxi skirt. Denim maxis obviously appeared back in last year, I'd say. Maybe the, no, last year, I'd say. And I toyed with the idea, but I put it off. I got this in a 10. I think I got this in a 10 because the 12 was out of stock. I do like a like acid wash light denim. And it's got a slit at the front, which you'll probably be able to see better when I put it on. I've had a denim maxi in my basket many a time and this is the only one that's actually made it to my house oh oh she's snug oh maybe i should have got a 12. i'm in do you know what i quite like that then he tucked this in because that's how i'd wear it if i was going to wear these together maybe i'll do the old wrap around and tuck in the bra up the side that's a bit more flattering with this shape wrap around tuck it in pull it out it feels very flattering. People in the reviews had said denim maxi skirts can feel a bit limiting when you walk. 
but this actually feels fine because it's got this big slit down the front. I feel like this is a really nice springtime alternative to jeans. I mean, obviously, that's exactly what a denim maxi skirt is meant to be for, isn't it? But I'm enjoying the vibe, is what I'm saying. So that, that is a yes from me. I realise this looks very similar to the t-shirt I've just taken off. It's not, it is a jumper, um, like a cropped jumper. But on the website, this looks an almost sweatshirt material. And even on camera here, I think it does. But actually, it's like a very, very light knit. I'm wearing the world's most unattractive bra today. Just for you guys. I think this is the first time in ages where the majority of what I've bought, I'm trying it on and I'm like, yep, yeah, I can see exactly how I could wear this like a million different ways. I love it. It's so comfy. I'm just accepting the fact that, especially in these like toddler mum days, it's got to be comfy cash. I'm not faffing with outfits. I'm not rearranging clothes. I'm not moving things. I don't want to have to steam something every single time I wear it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just leaning into that and it's paying off. I'm not going to lie to you because I could go out like this, right? Might put a black belt on. Don't think it needs it though. I actually think that's so cute. Really nice for spring as well, because it's lightweight, do you know what I mean? And then the last few bits I've got are some like chilled out vibes. So I'm gonna change my whole outfit. Ignore the white top, this isn't new. These leggings, on the website, these look less green, to be honest. They say sage on the description. I wouldn't call this a sage green. I would call it more of a foresty green but I still like it. This is part of me accepting that I like comfies. So I need to have good options for loungewear. It's nice to have different colors and just a little bit of interest going on. Cause I think actually, if you go for that like monotone loungewear look where you just choose one color and it all just ties together really nicely and you've got on the most simple outfit, but you still look like you've sort of made an effort. And then I also got with my green theme, this fleece. I like it, I'm not gonna lie, but because the leggings aren't as sage as I'd hoped, but do you know what I mean? Like a paler legging, like what was described on the website and in the picture on the website, would have been better. This is from the ASOS Weekend Collective range, so it's got that kind of imprinted on the back. Let's try it. The toddler life is a pretty good item to have actually because we're outside a lot and I really like this like neck protection. Out in the elements, doesn't matter. Can't get to my neck. Whoa. You guys can let me know. I'm sure you'll know the vibe I was going for and I'm sure you'll see that this doesn't quite hit it. But it's not disastrous. I would probably wear them with some chunky socks and these new balance. Due to laziness and the fact that I'm gonna be keeping these items, I will be wearing this outfit for the remainder of the day. I've put a little jacket potato in for myself, but I'm eating some celery to tide me over as you do. So room is now two. And the great thing about when your babies grow older is that the clothing brackets widen. So at first they're in like naught to three months or even up to one month if your baby is that small. My baby never was. Naught to three months, three to six, etc. And it's like three month jumps. Then it goes to six month jumps. And I finally reached the stage where the clothes are technically for the whole year. So two to three. I was kind of thinking, great, you know, you've got a whole year and so presumably that means I'm gonna be buying less clothes. So far it has not meant that. Their clothes get wrecked. Some of the stuff I got her that she started wearing just before she turned two already looks very tired. So I bought her a few new bits just to give her wardrobe a bit of a freshen up. A couple of sets of pajamas, one of which she's wearing at the moment and I can't be bothered to go and get them as the theme of this vlog is laziness, but I do like H&M pyjamas because they're very light. She does get very hot at night. She's got her duvet. She doesn't quite get, well, I don't know how much she understands like taking the duvet off if she's too hot, etc. So I prefer her to be in light layers. So she wears a vest and then she has these light pyjamas on and H&M do some lovely ones. The ones she's wearing at the moment are really nice. I'll try and put a picture on if I can. Navy blue with little moons on, very cute. And they're exactly the same style as these, which is, pink with hearts. I thought that was quite a nice, well, it's actually quite Valentine's isn't it? I was just thinking springtime. They wash really nicely, they don't shrink, and I've been happy with them so far, so. I also got her some new socks. That's exciting. And socks is another thing with kids. Like, look how huge these look. I'm pretty sure my toddler's feet are not that big. Black, gray, white, lilac, pink. Lovely. And I also got her some tights because we've started to wear dresses a little bit more. I'm not a massive dresses wearer, really. 
but we have got a couple of nice dresses and she got bought some nice dresses for Christmas as well. So for certain occasions, we'll put them on. And I really love a ribbed knit tight. I tend to just go for cream, gray, black, because I'm obviously very boring. For H&M, a lot of their clothes are two to four years actually. So it just, everywhere does it different. It just gets very confusing. So I tend to stick to the same places for that reason. I got her two little tops, both the same style. One is this one. And again, it's got that ribbed texture. A lot of the H&M kids clothes has the ribbed texture and the frill at the sleeve, especially the little girls things, obviously with the frill. And I really love the texture. I just think they sit a bit better on her. I don't know what it is. And I find I don't have to really like faff at her so much. I got one in the polka dot and I got another in the Breton stripe because you know, I love a stripe. I've got a top just like this. So yes, we will be wearing it at the same time because yes, I am that kind of loser. And I got her her first pair of jeans. Yeah, this is her first pair of like jeans jeans. She's a jeans gal. 20% recycled cotton, that's nice. Wide leg, elasticated waist. That's what we like. I just think they're so cute. Obviously I won't put her in these until the weather's a bit nicer because um, they'll get wrecked obviously in the wet weather and if I need to I will turn them up and you can get these like, mine's broken at the moment but I'm gonna buy a new one. You can get these one stitch machines from they're like handheld stitch things from Amazon, Hobbycraft, whatever. And I just use those to put like one stitch in either side of something. If I've had to roll it up a lot, I'll just put the one stitches in. And then when she gets a bit bigger, I just cut them out. Cut the stitch out. Doesn't damage the clothes because it's literally just one little piece of thread going through. Some little wide leg jeans. She's gonna be in her Breton. I've literally got this outfit. I bought her the same outfit that I wear all the time. That's so sad. And I also bought these trainers. Now I love these trainers. These trainers come in white or cream. They also come in cream in pink and they come in this color, which is the, the sort of more multicolored. It's got a little bit of sage green on the back. It's got the blue, it's got the pink. Chunky trainer, can't go wrong. She loves stomping about. She's such a stomper. So these kind of shoes really suit her. And I just really love the pastel shades. I think they are very fun for springtime and obviously, you know, you can see what I'm going for here. That's cute. I'm very happy with those purchases. That was actually a smaller H&M haul than I thought. Oh, hot. Right, this already makes me very sad. Who would leave this little butter? Don't always have cheese, but I think the lack of butter means it's necessary. Bone apple tea. Sometimes when I make tuna mayo, I like really want to zhuzh it up. Do you know what I mean? Like crispy onions or chopped red onion, sweet corn. That's not really zhuzh in it, but you know what I mean? Like adding things in. And then other times I'm like, I just want a potato with butter on it and tuna and mayonnaise. That is all I want. Sorry, I'm mixing this in the background and that sounds absolutely rank. I didn't realize that jacket potatoes were such a controversial dish. I've recently started watching Caroline Parker's videos, Mummy's Flipping House on Instagram and TikTok. I do actually, I followed her on TikTok for a while but I never watch them consistently because I find the TikTok thing really weird and also I don't really browse on TikTok these days. I think TikTok feels like work to me, I guess. Not in a bad way, but like I go on to upload a video or to answer comments or to deal with someone who's commented to tell me that my child should be taken away from me. Um, so I, I tend to kind of protect my energy as well. Like if I'm feeling low and I just wanna browse, I'm not gonna open TikTok because I'm gonna go in the comment section, I'm gonna see something that riles me. It's just not fun, do you know what I mean? Whereas Instagram is very much my space because I have less of a following on Instagram. Like I've got basically, not none, that's a lie, but I've got a small following on Instagram and I really like it because it means when I post stories, like I've got this core community. And anyway, I recently followed her on there as well. So I see so many more of her videos and she's just given birth. Oh, I absolutely love her. I just think she's so like honest and funny and just normal, like just such a normal woman. So yeah, if you don't follow her, go and check out her videos. She's lovely. I think she's around my age. She's British, but she lives in America cu currently, lives in Boston, moving back to England with her husband and their three kids. Like I said, she's just had a baby. She's got a little girl and then a two year old and then a baby. So very relatable in the mum space. But anyway, and she does food videos. So she does videos of like serving up her family dinners. And whenever she has a jacket potato, the comments kick off. Cause obviously she's living in America. She's got a lot of an American following and they just like, don't really know what jacket potatoes are, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't seem that a jacket potato is a classic dish as much as it is in Britain, for sure. Like, their beans are so different. I wouldn't put American beans on a jacket potato, 
but they think it's disgusting that we do because they think their beans are like our beans, but they're not. Oh my God, if you could have the joy of Heinz beans, you would understand you'd never look back. It's just so funny, isn't it? Like we all inhabit this one earth and yet we have such different experiences of what's normal and what's not. And here I am waxing lyrical about a fucking jacket potato when I could just be actually eating the jacket potato that is now ready. Right, I didn't think you were going to take it to Josh, you. over my so. head. Ah, good morning. Good morning. It's a new day and I'm gonna go to the shop in a minute with Rue just to pick up some foodie bits. We haven't got anything for dinner tonight. I'm not feeling great today, I'm not gonna lie, but I really want to carry on vlogging and um, hopefully get this up on Sunday, we'll see. Did you know it's pancake day on Tuesday as well? That was the other thing. Um, my Vodafone app had a reward today for like two pounds off pancake toppings at Sainsbury's. I downloaded the code this morning when I woke up and it said I had an hour to use it. So that has now expired. So annoying because it didn't say anywhere on it, like when you click this you'll have an hour. I just thought it would be valid all day. Anyway, I mean it was only two pounds but every little helps, doesn't it, in this day and age. I'm not prepared for pancake day but then I never really am. I didn't even realise it was this coming Tuesday. Did you bring that bag down? Yes. Thanks. Rue, we're gonna go in a minute, okay? No, 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 not later and not another day. We're gonna go in a minute. All right, I'll be in to put your coat on in a second. So I have a semi funny but not funny story about this delivery. Basically, what I'm hoping is inside this box is a mirror from Dunelm Mill. I ordered this mirror on the 6th of January with next day delivery. And this box arrived at our house yesterday. So basically what happened is I ordered the mirror and then three times it was lost in transit. And each time I had to go on the live chat, get them to reorder it for me. They would always say they were sorry. They refunded me the next day delivery to be fair, which obviously, yeah, that makes sense. But three different times they tried to send it out and three different times DPD lost it. And then last week, or a couple of days ago actually, I got it reordered for a fourth time and a box about this size arrived and I was very happy, but it felt very light when I brought it inside. And I thought that, that doesn't feel quite right. This is what was delivered. Just some random prints that I would probably never order. Um, set of two prints, 40 pounds if anyone is interested in, in buying those from Dunnell Mill. So basically I had to then get back on the live chat for the fifth time and say, a parcel did finally arrive, thank you, but it's not what I ordered. Can I please have the mirror that I've ordered? This box arrived yesterday and I'm really hoping and praying that it's the mirror because if it isn't, I give up. I truly give up, it obviously was not meant to be. And I've got to return these to store, which is a pain in the bum, I'm not gonna lie. And the guy on live chat, he did want me to return these before he resent that back out. I was like, not a chance. You need to send me, you need to send me my item. <laughs> I don't actually know what all the buttons on this tripod do, so it would be best if you didn't touch all of them, right? Uh, 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 uh. Ah. What is it? Mirror. It's a mirror. Do you like it? Yeah. That's what you're after. Yeah. This is the mirror I ordered. Where are we going, Rue? The shop, why are you saying it like that? Your finger's okay. Bruce had to have a plaster on her finger and it's obviously the event of the day. We're off to Sainz. It is another rainy, miserable last day, so that's fun. Let's go, hey? Mm -hmm. ah. Come in then you can try a little bit, but not a lot. I'm passing me the things out the bags. Coriander. I feel like it's pretty much a given now that any trip to yeah. the supermarket costs £30. Not our food shop, obviously. I wish I could do our food shop for £30. But you don't need it like that, darling. It's a line. But yeah, even just going for like little nibbly bits, 30 quid every time. How? How is it adding up to £30? I don't know. What is that? Pepper. Pepper. That's for our dinner. I actually don't give Rue red pepper anymore because she used to love it as a snack. But three times that she's like been sick in the night, she's had red pepper that day. And it's quite distinctive when it comes up, which is why I've kind of logged it in my brain. And I don't know if it's because of the red pepper, but I've just made the link now and I can't bring myself to 
give it to her anymore. Tomatoes, well done. Strawberries. I'm gonna make guacamole. That's not really a lunch, is it? But well, for me it is. I will sit and eat a whole bag of chips and some guac. Cheese. Cheese. Butter, well done. And put the bag by the door? Yes. Good job. Go and play for a minute while mummy sorts everything out. Play in your kitchen. Okay. I'm gonna sneakily eat a bag of crisps before I make this guacamole. I do like a chunky guac. Mm -hmm. It's crunchy. Mm -hmm. Is that nice? Mm -hmm. Well, you've been telling me avocado's yucky for the last few months. So I didn't think you'd want any. Is it yummy? Yeah. Okay. Would you like some more? No. Eat your bagel then, because it's nearly nap time, my friend. Look at that. No, <sighs> you have some. Well, we have some. <laughs> Ready, big bite. Bite. Oh, good job. <laughs> so tired. I'm back in my comfies. I've just come to sign off the vlog because I realised that I hadn't done that yet. I'm just about to debobble my clothes, which I know I talked about the other day, but in case you haven't seen one of these, this is my old one. I've actually just upgraded. I had this one for ages. It does the job. It's like a most cheap and cheerful one. The only thing with this is the battery life isn't brilliant. So like if I'm doing, say, this whole jumper dress, I would probably only be able to do half with this. Then I have to charge it and I can't use it while it charges as well. So it's a bit clunky. So I decided to upgrade because I do use it a lot. So I've gone for this one, which I got from Amazon. I'll put the link below. Basically, this one's got three settings. You just run it over the bobbles on the clothes and all the fluff collects in this bit as well. I don't know if you can see that area there of this jumper. It's gone a little bit worse for wear. So you just run it over like this and um, you should be able to see there that the bobbles have gone. I definitely recommend getting one if you haven't yet. Like I said, I'll put the link for this one down below. I also just really like the design of this one. I think it's quite sleek. Do you know what I mean? But that's me done for this vlog hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'll hopefully be back soon lots of love to you all and i'll see you next time bye